Rick, we're gonna do everything we can, okay? You need to give us some room. The epidemic took my wife, my stepson. My daughters were spared. I'm grateful to God for that. Mankind's been fighting plagues from the start. We get our behinds kicked for a while, then we bounce back. My grandfather brought this over from the old country. He passed it on to my father who passed it on to me. Hey, Walking Dead fans, this is going to be another news video, and we open up this one with some sad news. Scott Wilson, who starred as Herschel Green on The Walking Dead, died on October 6th at the age of 76. He died from complications with leukemia. He was born in Atlanta on March 29th, 1942, and he moved to L.A. after high school to pursue his acting career. He was one of the most liked characters in The Walking Dead, He'd been an actor for around 50 years. He had a key role in the Academy Award winning 1967 film In the Heat of the Night and the film adaptation of the Truman Capote book In Cold Blood. And he's played recently in a Netflix drama and on CSI. Many, many actors paid their respects through Twitter and other means to Scott Wilson. He was a very loved man, actor, character, just a great guy. And the news of the death broke just a hour after the showrunner Angela Kang announced at New York Comic Con that Wilson and Sonequa Martin-Green, who played Sasha, will reappear in Season 9, along with John Bernthal, who played Shane. So Scott Wilson had already shot some scenes for Season 9, so we will definitely see him there. R.I.P. Scott Wilson, Godspeed. And in some other New York Comic Con news, it was also announced that Skybound Games will take over Telltale Games developing The Walking Dead, the final season, the video game. Telltale Games was shutting down. They laid off people. They had just started the final season of The Walking Dead game. It was up in the air wondering what was going to happen, but Skybound Games is going to take up where Telltale left off. And viewers could watch the season 9 The Walking Dead premiere a day early, 24 hours early, if they had AMC premiere. And as far as the Commonwealth, will we see them in Season 9? Angela Kang said that the Commonwealth does mean things to people. We're starting to seed in some future stories. The timing of those stories may not be in the immediate future, but there will be things in this season that are groundwork being laid for finding out more about the world. Kang went on to say, One of the things I know fans have been interested by is this helicopter, so we'll learn a little bit more about that mystery and how it might connect to other people or other places. And we already know that Maggie's leaving the show, and Cohen and Kang has both said that her leaving the show is open-ended so she can return, and Kang has said she really hoped that she does return in season 10. So that pretty much tells us that Maggie will not die. But losing Scott Wilson has definitely overshadowed some of the news. It's, it's definitely put a damp light on the premiere of The Walking Dead Season 9, especially, especially since they were bringing him back to be in the show. Um, I'm sure it's a flashback or something like that, but still, it's very sad for his wife, his family, all of his friends and co-workers. I really hope they got to shoot all of Scott's parts for season nine and we'll get to see it in its entirety but i'm thinking they had some stuff left to shoot possibly but we'll find out more about that in the coming days definitely start the discussion below in the comments check out the other videos on the channel and look for more news videos coming every other video or so and as always thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more dead stuff